Ooh. Woohoo! Right, quick little video on a bit of an update, a uh, tool update, I guess. So, so far on the plasterboard, I've just been using my drill, a standard drill, and putting them in manually, which is fine. I've done the whole house that way. And when I do that, I use one of these screw bits, which have a little collar, which stops the screw going in too far and puncturing the paper. And it works fine and you get into a bit of a rhythm. You really need a tool belt or something so you've got all the screws on you and then you can you kind of get into a bit of a rhythm. So the other option is to get a collated screw gun, an auto feed one. Now, bearing in mind I've done most of the house, it was tempting to get one for this but it just seemed a little bit extravagant. And the main model, I, I guess it's the Makita, it's what most people seem to use and that's just another battery system, another charger. So I decided to have a look at my other options and I managed to find this on eBay. Now, I think it must just be some sort of end of line clearance that some blokes bought a load of boxes of them, I don't know, but it was 30 pounds, so Ryobi, and there's a 55 mil and a 75 mil. So because I was using the insulation, I went for the one that took up to 75 mil screws. So the shortest it can use is 55 which is a bit restricting. It comes with an adapter and it also comes with a long extension pole for doing ceilings and a side handle. Uh, but it's obviously designed for a Ryobi screw gun, a proper screw gun, or a, it fits a Hilti system. Neither of which I have and I don't really intend to get them, but I thought for 30 pounds I'll buy it, see if I can sort of fabricate it somehow to work on mine. And what I found out is you don't need the, if you take the collar off, there's a quick connection collar, if you uh, don't use that and you, well, certainly for this Bosch driver, with the, with the drill bit in there that comes with it, it bottoms out in there. I had to carve a little bit of the plastic out of here just to where it was rubbing. And that bottoms out and it pretty much ends up where it should be, the screwdriver bit. Then you have to adjust the depth on here and I'm using 55 mil screws and I just had to tweak it slightly because it's obviously not as, uh, what it should be. Once you've got that set up, it seems to be working. Now the one restriction I had is it only, I could only get hold of 55 mil screws today. You can obviously get longer ones. Uh, and 55 mil is just about okay with the insulation we've got. I'll put a few bonus ones in. Obviously the only thing, because it hasn't got the adapter or anything, it's a two-handed job, but I guess you'd want to do that anyway. Um, and I haven't tried it with the extension handle, but if the extension handle's on, it's obviously got a little drive shaft type thing in it, you end up gaining another 700 mil, you know, a couple of feet that you could get to ceilings or lower ceilings in this. Anyway, let's give it a go and see if it's 30 pounds well spent or just something that's gonna clutter the workshop. Okay, I'm using it on the slow speed. Don't wanna to get too carried away. So I'm having to see when it's almost at the paper and then stop manually. That's the main problem. So I do need to work out how I can get it to bottom out. Well, actually, I did go all the way there and it seemed to stop. Oh, that's just about perfect. I think I might be onto something here. Let's try it with the long handle. Right, so this is the attachment. Oh, hang on, it's upside down. It's an awful long way away, I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah. It's the fact that this collar, it really needs that collar, like I said. It worked. I don't believe it. It's working. Let's have a go at the ceiling. I 
it's a bit of a contraption, but it is actually working. I think the shorter the screw, maybe the next model down, the shorter the screw, you've got a little bit more control, whereas you have to hold it pretty straight for the screws to go in as you want them. I, I don't think I'll use it with the extension pole, but it did work. See if it'll work on fast. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. It does work on fast. Now I'm definitely wishing I'd tried this before. Thing is, you can't go back in if it's just a little bit proud to end up putting another screw in. So you do need to go around and tweak them afterwards if, if needed. Right now we're converted to our little gadget here. Let's see how quick we can do a board using this. Taking more than a couple of minutes. I mean, that's a very straightforward board to do. All the studs are nicely centered. Um, and I'm not doing any guesswork like I am with some of the insulation, but I'm thinking I might get this second version of that tool, bearing in mind it's only 30 pounds. Uh, the other one goes down to a 35 or 30 mil screw. That one only goes down to 55, and those screws are just too long. If you're just going straight through your normal board onto timber, you're, you're doing so much screwing into the timber, which is unnecessary. Um, I might see if I can fabricate that one somehow to to um, take shorter screws but anyway well the first time I tried it didn't really work now I'm kind of wishing I'd had another play around with it before I did the ceiling because it would have been a lot quicker anyway there's my little tip might not even have them for sale anymore but if I can find the link I'll stick it below Last one like that. 